plastic has been everywhere. Like, and we all now we have water bottles. Anybody here brought like their food in a container or water? You know? so, yeah, everywhere. <laughs> uh, and so, ask yourselves, what makes plastic plastic? And so, uh, so bisphenol A, otherwise known as BPA, uh, is a compound found in plastic, and this makes um, this, this, this is the ingredient found like in most plastic bottles to uh, protect the plastic or, or the can, food and food cans. Um, and this has caused so many diseases by now. Um, it causes cancer for men. For men, it causes prostate cancer and slow reproduction of uh, sperm. And for women, uh, it, reprodu it slows the, the hormonal um, imbalance. There's like a hormonal imbalance. Uh, and it, it's been linked to breast cancer. So uh, I'm a girl, you know, I can be, I can, I'm totally affected by this. In my house, we always been having like food containers where we put our leftovers. Um, and like when I was training for the marathon, I would always use water bottles, so it's everywhere. <laughs> um, so by learning more about BPA and uh, you know, what this can do to us, um, you have a greater understanding and hopefully, you know, I can persuade you guys to um, slow down your um, intake of water, water bottles or food and food containers, plastic containers. All right, so first I'm going to talk about the problems that uh, bisphenol A costs, causes. Um, then I'm going to talk about what causes bisphenol A, like what, what is it, you know, how do we intake this? And finally, some easy solutions that you can do to prevent the exposure to uh, BPA. So, like, what is BPA, and how does it how does it affect our health, and you know our younger generations? So, in an FDA report in 2014, um, if uh, BPA has been linked to, um, like I said, many sicknesses, uh, it's mostly found the people that are most affected by the exposure is children, and, and why? Because of the baby bottles, the food containers. Um, there's also been BPA has also been found in cans that have uh, baby formula, like milk formula, and everything. And we're all babies, you know. We were, we all you know had like bottles, food, and everything in plastic. So um, a professor, also a uh, professor in biosciences, um, Judy Bloss, she wrote a report in her uh, university. It was in a university uh, website. Uh, she wrote that it, uh, BPA affects the hormonal growth of, for women, and this causes for us to have uh, less fertility. You know, it, um, it, uh, sorry. it affects our fertility of eggs, and for men, um, this uh, decreases the sperm count and causes prostate cancer. Very deadly. Um, and the and the banned poisonous act. Uh, this is another problem. Like, you know, what are we doing about it? So the Banned Poisonous Act it was uh, introduced in 2013, and it was the ban of all plastic found in bottles, containers. Like it banned the manufacturer, it banned you know the sale of it. But unfortunately, it did not pass. And many countries have been you know banned BPA. And so what's taking us so long? So now that I talked about some of the problems um, that bisphenol A causes, let's talk about what causes this. And so, like I said before, bisphenol A um, is a compound found in plastic. And so uh, the most easiest thing to remember from this is that when this plastic is exposed to heat, let's say like a microwave, which we all do, you know, we put uh, food in a microwave container, um, it's plastic. And so with the, with the heat, uh, it makes the BPA leak into the food and then we intake that food. And as well with uh, water bottles, like if you have water bottles in your car and you leave them all day, the sun makes the heat uh, in the plastic bottle. Uh, it causes the BPA, BPA to leak into the water and we into that. And so, yeah, that's why we have um, such exposure to it. Um, so now that I've talked about what causes BPA, next I'll talk about some solutions. Easy solutions, very cheap, you know, it's amazing how we can, um, you know, limit our exposure to BPA in an easy way. And uh, so, these are 
Um, these are just some examples of things that you should avoid. And obviously we have baby bottles um, that are plastic. We have plastic containers, um, plastic uh, cups, cans, containers. And these uh, signs, if you guys have a water bottle, like you should check uh, for any of these signs. And these are just toxic that is found in the water. And then this can maybe go into the water and then you intake, water, you intake it. And that's what, it, that's what causes the hormonal imbalance in both men. Uh, so yeah, like this is crazy, yeah. I did not know until like recently when I was doing this whole research. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> not know. It's going crazy. Um, so this is just some things to avoid, but there's some easy solutions. And this is a solution. Uh, so obviously we have glass, we have uh, stainless steel, we have ceramic, ceramic and um, cookware that is stainless steel well. And also, like, I propose that we should all, you know, send letters to the government and say, hey, you know, like, you should stop the manufacture of uh, BPA. And um, because nothing has been done. <laughs> Obviously, in some states, they have taken some procedures. I think in New York, um, I think in New, in New York, they have all these laws. They already stopped to produce a BPA found in uh, toys. Bottles and cookware and everything, but they banned BPA. In California, well, we're like, um, crazy. Um, and also, I think this, uh, I can't remember the brand, it's Camel, Camel Pack or something, um, and it's been found to be BPA free. These are easy solutions. Uh, every time you go and buy a new water bottle or a food container, check for the signs. You know, sometimes they'll be labeled BPA free, and that's a great, that's a great way. Cheats. So now that I've talked about the problems, causes, solutions to this deadly thing, uh, let's just finish. Um, <laughs> this, uh, so what's it going to close? Um, so obviously I talked about uh, some of the ways that, I mean, I talked about the BPA, what causes BPA, and some easy solutions. Um, and I hope that you guys learn this and use it, use this information as a way to um, limit your exposure tell your younger generations about BPA. And, um, and I'll just conclude with a wise saying that my mom, mom's always right, of course. Of course. Uh, she told me like, you know, it's better to waste your money on you know, healthy things that are good for you instead of later on paying the consequences of paying higher bills in the medical. That's it.